Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prove that the volume of a cone is V is equal to 1 over 3 times pi times the radius squared times the height. So I've drawn a diagram of a cone here. As you can see, the height of the cone is H, the radius of the cone is R, and so if you cut the cone right here and you take a look at the cut, you can see that this is a circle and this is what we call a cross section. And so the radius of the cross section, we can say this is x and the height of the cross section is y. So in order to find the volume of any shape, you need to know this formula. The formula is the integral from a to b of a of y dy. So a of y is the area of the cross section, which is the circle. And you might be wondering, why are we integrating with respect to y? Well, it's because the cross section is on the y axis. That's the trick. Since it's on the y axis, it's easier to integrate with respect to y. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to find the area of that cross section. So the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So the radius of this cross-section is x, so we can replace the radius with x. Now, since we are integrating with respect to y, we should rewrite x in terms of y. And let me show you how to do that. We can do a proportional ratio, so you can do y over h, that is the height of the cross section over the total height of the cone is equal to the radius x over the total radius, which is r. x will simply be r times y divided by h. So if we rewrite this, the area will be pi times the radius times y divided by h to the power of 2, which will simply be pi times the radius squared divided by the height squared times y squared. And we can also rewrite this one more time to make it even simpler as pi times the radius squared divided by the height squared times y squared. And so we successfully found the formula for the area of this cross-section and we are ready to substitute into our integral. So now we replace the ay with our area formula and the volume of this integral is from 0 to h that is going to be this 0 to this h of pi times the radius squared divided by the height squared times y squared. Since pi and the radius and the height are just constants, we can move them outside of the integral. So this will simply be pi times the radius squared divided by the height squared times the integral from 0 to h of y to the power of 2. And this integral is actually very easy to solve. This is just pi times the radius squared divided by the height squared times the antiderivative of y to the power of 2. And so remember the antiderivative, you just take the 2, you plus 1, so let's do that first. That's going to be y to the power of 3. And then you divide by that exponent, so that's going to be 1 over 3. And don't forget the upper and the lower bound, which are h and 0. Again, this is just going to be pi times the radius square divided by the height square. Now we have to substitute the h and the 0 into this formula. So it's going to be 1 over 3 times the height to the power of 3. So the height to the power of 3. And you have to subtract the lower bound. That's going to be 1 over 3 times 0 to the power of 3. And you close that bracket. And you know that this is going to be 0. So this is going to be pi times the radius squared divided by the height squared times 1 over 3 times the height to the power of 3. 
we can cancel out the heights in the numerator and the denominator. This will be equal to pi times the radius squared times 1 over 3 times the height, which will simply be equal to our volume formula. That would be 1 over 3 times the height, or rather 1 over 3 times pi times r2 times the height. And that is it. So I just proved to you and showed you that the volume of a cone is equal to 1 over 3 times pi times the radius squared times the height using integrals in calculus.